Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from all of the LCS spring matchups of the day. Without Still further ado, down. let's dive straight into the action. The super team was working pretty well in week one. And Blabber they had to already on. energy too, so it's not like it was an easy week for them, right? Certainly oh, are we diving well. here? I think we're going for it. Vulcan and Berserker want this real bad. Barely get Tomo. They will trade Vulcan for it. Isles, how bad do you want this? Gets Flash out of Berserker. Aggrex you here. One more minion to hit. He's getting aggressive on the Tomo. Berserker, this is not the time to go in. Exu with the big punish. These Ren stacks should not be enough to take down Tomo. He gets out. Flash from Isles. Isles actually gets the kill credit. Now Vulcan and Blabber are here to try and trade one back. Teleport in from Fudge. No, he just walked all the way down. Never mind. Bottom lane, so you don't have to use your teleport. And then you use your teleport to get back to top side. Nobody's ah. expecting the equalizer to go down during that skirmish. So yeah. nice look from Cloud9. They get the first dragon. The important thing we're calling out is the roam from Fudge. Uh, the priority that you get when you're Rumble versus a tank is mo is usually best used oh. by that type of play. Back to live. We got for the boys in blue as Cloud9 will get their dragon and six grubs to their count. Oh, man. Oh, Dove goes for the solo play on JoJo. Flash out from the Orianna early. And oh, Dignitas respond. Right now, they're still hovering, so it seems like they want to contest. They're TPing. We're just engaging in on the blabber. He gets the spell shield off. Suicide advance goes forward. Vulcan does not have the flash, but there's that Callista ult to save him. And Cloud9 disengage. Dubs over the wall, though. They're looking for Berserker. They don't have vision in the pit, so Berserker. It's in Rumble, and that is a successful move here for Dig to at least be able to get one dragon for themselves super early on us because right now Rumble does so much damage but doesn't have any of the defensive capabilities yeah. to keep him safe. So maybe not having the Orn ultimate is gonna be worth Rumble I'm, I'm not having it. Blabber. They got the combo, the equalizer on top. Doesn't actually get that much damage yet, but Zerker gets the first kill on the dub though. Traded back, X you burn down to a crest, but the engage, Tomo. Tomo's popping off in the fight. He gets the double kill as Fudge and Jojo finally take him down. But it did a lot of work for Dignitas. The rest are in full equalizer, though. We will have the paranoia up again because of Blabber picking up that early hex plate. But they're not going to contest. This is the second dragon for Dignitas. Cloud9 are opting oh, for the oh. gold. On Maybe that will be their, their avenue here. But Dignitas, even though it is 3.6 with the nature's advance, twisted advance. Gets onto Jojo, that's the teleport coming out. Now we gotta kill Jojo fast here, Dignitas, if we want the play to work. Fudge shows up with the equalizer down. Jojo taking a lot of damage. Xy with the kill credit. Isles and Rich are here as well. Paranoia used. We're not playing, uh, appealing for Dub yet. He tried to appeal for himself, but Blabber flashes forward and will equalize the kills. Blabber saving the play. Tomo in the neighborhood. I do not see a world where Dignitas can actually contest this unless just the threat of the Orn is enough. They have the Ren stacks. Cloud9 are not taking the bait. They say keep DPS on the Baron. We will get the objective. We have another teleport coming in as Vulcan hits the ultimate onto Isles and Rich. Dignitas might be able to get their members out, but they will not stop the Baron. Build, so it's going to be hard to actually lock him down when he does ult in. Speaking of, we're popping the paranoia yet again. XU, you built tank, but not tanky enough. Has to flash away. It's not Blabber. Oh! The shockwave combo from Cloud9 gets everybody from Dignitas, but Tomo still out putting a lot of damage. Not going to be enough as Blabber goes on a killing spree. You kind of felt like they were coming on. You kind of feel bad for them because, you know, it's uh, they, they were, like you're saying, yeah. scaling super nicely. Oh. Berserker's probably going to finish it off here. Yeah, so yeah. the only one to live is going to be Isles on, you know, 25 HP or whatever there. So Cloud9 with the Baron buff, with the six Void Grubs, each person spawns two of these Void Mites. Yep. The little Kevins. And <laughs> those also apply the, the extra damage to the tower. So and your pushing splitting. power is insane. They're, they're trying to fully maximize this Baron buff. They're not everybody going down one lane. We take the mid inhibitor turret. We'll Divide take the mid and inhibitor. Conquer. And we took the tier two top. And it uh, looks like they have at least for the side of Dignitas started handing out the Orn items. I think we saw even earlier uh, Tomo's Infinity Edge was already upgraded. So their job remains the same here for Dig. It's all defense. And we're just jumping right on to Tomo. The combo yet again, this time only on the enemy AD carry. He's surviving for a while, but not long enough. Cloud9 pick off the Aphelios. That's probably the last Bastion for Dignitas here as he will try and survive in the fountain. They're losing the front line. It's just Dove and Isles and Dignitas. Seem to be falling. Cloud9 continue the win streak against this team. 19 in a row. 
We are cheering for him, but it is not going to happen today. Cloud9, ooh, nice look from Dove right there. Trying to end on a high note, but Cloud9 are just inevitable. Continuing their dominance of the LCS. Cloud9 will go 3-0. The power of the void. So anything that provides consistent amount of damage that is an answer to this Adwani and Rakan, I think would be a good mm -hmm. one. So it's going to be an Azir for the pick. They really and need DPS. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, OK. This right. is also a, a ward, a gold star to your top laner, because top laners mm -hmm. especially, you know, coming uh, as if you have that pushing matchup here, coming to help out your jungler with this counter jungle is going to determine a lot of the game. As much fun as we're having with the counting of ganks here, this is the determining factor is how much payment they're getting Ooh. for that who he flashed. Like like you said, the who he flashed is all that 100 Thieves got out of it, and now Quid at 150 HP. It's spilling to mid lane, because Contracts was still up in the jungle. Flash to knock up Quid, who's trying to get out of there, does use the flash himself. And Palafox fancies himself the dive. River with the counter gank! And FBI is actually playing the vision very well here. Did they see the Kayla's going in for the engage. Jumps onto Huhi, who has the flash available. FBI is not the target. We're looking at the support. And that should just be a guaranteed kill. Add another one to the counter. River gets Micha kill. And then continue on your merry little way. They're not going for the grubs, though. They're actually going for the dragon earlier on. They have the option. Um, the kill possibility for this alive. stage of the game, but right Ooh, now... Lands on a Meech. Ayla stopping the current call from FBI, but here comes Contracts. Has the Vi ultimate, and we'll get a kill for FBI. FBI. I heard the counter on the big TV. We're going to go for our own Glacial Prison to start things off. Dope was a pretty squishy Jace. Has all out pop by Sniper. River tanks the perfect amount of shell points. Doklo and Sniper both have it, but Sniper's starting a fight against Doklo while we're prepping for the dragon. I don't think Doklo's gonna have much health bar to work with now. Phase right. He doesn't go down though. Sniper wants it. Oh, he's going under to gets flash out of Big Dokes. Does he want to commit for more? I believe he has. No, he has Ghost actually. It was popped right there. Oh, he gets oh! it. No way. The rookie top laner solo kills Doklo. New kid on. Block Sniper gets the solo oh, River. We're gonna catch out Contracts down here. He was setting up for the potential dragon play. They have teleport coming up for Battle Fox. Contracts will not go down. Flashes away. Meets flash straight into Contracts' arms as Hui picks up that kill. Big shuffle from Palafox straight into FBI's waiting arms. NRG might not get the dragon, but they will slaughter the uh, Contracts here is hovering. So is Hui though. Ooh, Quid doesn't quite get onto Dokla the way he wanted. Gets some damage. Ayla's coming in. Oh, the arrow from who he actually lands on the Quid. Now he's locked down. Dokla's trying to damage up Ayla, though. It's the Rakan that falls first. Curtain has been called. Whoa. As he like gets closer. The audience yeah. has tried to do it a couple I, times. I'm you know? still... Next time I got your now, Palafox is getting worked on in the side lanes as we're back to... Ultimate, Sejuani ultimate uh, down here. And of course, the cleanse, but... And now we're looking at who he... Flashes away, flash follow from River, and that should be enough to claim NRG's support. Sniper's able to sidestep that deadly flourish, and NRG will now have only four champs on the Rift. Said it before, but we're probably gonna keep saying it every game for 100 Thieves. This River pickup for them, and as they get oh. invaded by Dokla by himself. Face checking into the enemy red buff. Dokla giving away Whoa. a kill to 100 Thieves. Sniper. The happy recipient of that one. Dokla on the wrong side of Summoner's Rift there. <laughs> Here, trying to answer. They could both join. The sniper starts it out. River's going for the engage. It got onto Palafox. Contracts Ooh. trying to block the front line, but they cannot block Sniper. Palafox gets away with a sliver of a health bar. Quid looks to continue the trade. The chase down will not get it, but jumps onto Contracts. Curtain Call pulls up. A lot of damage on the Sniper. Somebody's got a body block for him. Ayla is the good guy. Support as they claim who he's life. Quid now finds himself in a 1v2. Flashes away. Dokla's got one more auto flash. Crazy because Micha is on vision. And they have no vision <laughs> inside the dragon. And the dragon is pulled. Potentials on both teams. Both junglers having these big engage ultimates speaking up. River engaging on the contracts right now. Contracts is on his side of the jungle, though. And Palafox jumps in onto Meech. It's knocked up. A lot of damage in onto the mid laner, and he goes down. Contracts still commits to the engage. Can they get anything in response? Now, River's low, Quid's low. Sniper teleports in. 
But Gasante can be the new front line. Tags out the jungle, but the team's running away. Sniper's going forward. Well, now reach yeah, team off the mini wave bot. Kali buff right there. Looking for the flank right now. He's going to teleport over by Ayla. Sniper's over the wall. 100 Thieves are looking for a big flank angle. Trying to surround NRG. We're into the pit. And it's secured by NRG. They will lose Dokla for their efforts. How many more will fall? 100 Thieves trying to chase them all down. Palafox, the new focus, the new target. The Shuriken landed, quick kick the dragon. back to life. Sniper's a little behind everyone else from 100 Thieves, but so is Dokla. His TP's coming up cooldown shortly, but Dragon secured from 100 Thieves. Contracts, very low, quick gets out of the back line. The Akali just wrecking the health bar of Hui. And that is two kills picked up by 100 Thieves and the Dragon. FBI's in trouble too, it doesn't end here. Quid's low, but he's asking for permission to do damage. Dokla and FBI are both there. Sniper's trying to buy the space. Permission granted. Quid gets in there. Sniper gets the kill, though. It's traded right up back. Dokla! Massive damage! There, tried to get close, tried to go for the smite fight. It was a little bit early. Scuttle Crab. They did get the early wards through here. Ooh. Quid's the target right now. Enchanted Crystal Arrow on top. River does not have enough damage to trade a kill back. And now he's actually got to get out of there. Oh, they caught Palafox! A lot of health on this Azir, though. Lethality Varus not going to be enough. Meech finally gets it with that auto, but a double kill to FBI already. Power two. Oh, yeah. After the push here. Wow. The extra kills do come through and completely deleted the Akali before the fight even started. And Palafox looking for the play himself. Quid has flash available, and he's locked out by the Enchanted Again. Crystal Arrow. They got him. Mid lane pick. Ayla should go down as well. And our Got to get out of there. That's a good old Sejuani. Uh, oh, chain of corruption here. on it. Who he. Oh! Death one shot! Meech finds his moment, and FBI says, Well, I got one of my own. Shut down his ear. Let's get another look at that. Yeah, nice one there. Hits him with the snipe. Who he went in for the ward, but. Uh, after I'm not. The... There's a Vi and a Sejuani. Yeah, that's how I go. Okay. Wish them. Uh, one of them does have cleanse. Down the so. sniper. Ooh, arrow lands onto Ayla, which means River goes in between the field goal or field posts. Doesn't land a stun, but the chain of corruption on the Dokla, he doesn't have flash anymore. This is a huge pick for 100 Thieves. But look at the back line. Contracts is getting in. Dokla's still alive! And 100 Thieves have been routed! NRG absorb yet another engage, and they will ace the Thieves! Dokla's squeezing that Cloud Soul tight. Wow. <laughs> or the, uh, or the, chem, the Chem Tech yeah. Soul. <laughs> As he got so low, barely survives, and that's going to be that's, energy. That's the game right there, surely. 25 seconds on Ayla, a back and forth banger, 38 minutes. But the defending champs will keep their heads high here in day one of week two. With a win over 100 Thieves, it was not easy. They had to work for it, but NRG are walking away with a win. Right, the exciting one, and they want some more kills. Well, uh, it's gonna be a long spot. time, though. So clearly, here we go. Palafox, shut the No! No! That's fine. Pad the stats a little bit. We uh, have some fun with it. NRG about being able to take okay, a comp Tris. apart. If Mordekaiser ults one frontliner, Trundle ults the other one, all of a yeah. sudden there's just no frontline anywhere. You just run the rest of them over. Trist that stick. First grub is already gonna fall, and it looks like nobody from Team Liquid's camp. PA with a flash, wanted to go all in on Jensen. Not quite enough damage to finish the job, but Inspired's going after the Drake. Umpty wanted to come in and barrage over the top, hitting Yawn, chunking him down to about half HP. Gonna force out the heal from the Nami, as Busio and Masu force back underneath their own turret. Yawn wanted to make it happen, but Masu's saying no. First blood back over to FlyQuest, and Core JJ now stands alone. Masu continuing pushing forward, but probably doesn't have enough to close the gap, take him out. Nicely done from FlyQuest, outplaying and punishing Yon. Yeah, the curse of Lucian continues as APA's jumping forward. Jensen now gonna get jumped. The engage with the flash from Umpty's Rail, trying to set APA up for the damage, but they don't have the burst. Now Umpty is low, and Inspired's coming in. APA gets the ulti back in time to try to knock Jump. him out, but Inspired's ready to beat him down. Another kill back over to FlyQuest. She and has more base health, does more now? AP damage, <laughs> and her shield is stronger, but Inspired very low, bursted down. Team Liquid has the DPS for this Jensen's one, but now here. Umpty's here on the front, and Jensen's ready to join the fight. APA makes his way down as the Shockwave finds Umpty, but it's only one target, and APA's ready to jump in over the wall to keep it going. Jensen under pressure, and APA finds his shot this time. They're from Jensen, Alexi used the Shockwave solo on Umpty, and there wasn't going to be anywhere close enough damage to actually finish him off, and that means that APA then has no threat on him. He can jump forward. He can flash in. Yeah, nicely done by APA. Had three hits already on the E, flashes four for so one. So Umpty seemingly gonna get it for free. 
They will be taking a tower down in the bot lane, though, so okay. they're going to be pushing that very heavily. Now, and there's sort of what we were talking about with one of the weaknesses of FlyQuest. You don't have hard engage. Yes, you can throw up a pillar or whatever as APA. Going to get dove by Bwipo. He wants to bring down the hammer, and down it goes. APA taken and crashes down in reverse just to escape the damage of FlyQuest, who now have a man advantage on the map. Who have now and let's go, Inspire, just picking up this Drake. Nice and free. Doesn't really need any help with Trundle doing that. As you can see, Jensen was just making sure there was nothing coming towards him from the Jensen enemy. just farming up on the bot side. Busio's coming down. APA's in trouble. APA now going to get jumped on by Busio oh, nice. too as Jensen goes forward. APA with a nice escape. Jensen still chasing after him. Command attack hits. Needs another one to take him down. The clockwork wind up, winds him out of there. Jensen grabbing another kill as the Rift Herald is driven straight into the mid lane tier one turret. They've got the Herald. They've got all the little grub babies. They're going to take that one down. Drake is going to be taken by FlyQuest on the other side of the map. If Whippo lives, it's just a free objective. If he dies, they're going to end up trading him away for it. Yawn and Core JJ pushing up mid as Whippo's now in the middle of a 1v3. Still trying to fight his way out of it. Back in mid, not a whole lot happening here with a 2v2. Whippo trying to take Upti out before it all ends. Upti with a flash away, staying alive. Oh, he busted oh, trying to oh, oh, no, APA! Was that the betrayal of all time? <laughs> Almost, but not quite. Shut down back over to APA. But man, oh man. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, we're pulling that up now because even though, obviously, FlyQuest are going to end up getting this bot lane turret and they might be able to reestablish push in mid to try to take out that mid turret as well as Jensen TP's bot. Which is the idea. Okay. Uh, it is kind of an interesting take and we'll have to see, you know, really how it's working out for them throughout the game because generally people are going like Celestial Fashion, the defensive one, or they're going something a little bit more aggressive and the kind of heal support one. Uh, this is not something I've seen a ton of. Yeah, and this is a really interesting response from TL in terms of setting up this Drake uh, because not only are they trying to contest oh. this and stop it from FlyQuest, but Hold uh, on. Tristana... Hold on, they are immediately already going up. in. The wave got shot off. Whippo's in the middle of four different people. Impact's going all out, and Whippo's under pressure. Upti zoned out by Busio off to the side as Impact, Core, and Yon all have to retreat. The soul may have been claimed by FlyQuest, but APA is marching down the top lane. He had taken the tier two before the Drake even started, and now with so all have five to go enemy players yep. occupied, APA has the pressure to take down the inhibitor itself, allowing the rest of the if team. If you try to split them up, if you try to play to your side lanes, try to get APA isolated with a turret, that's a great call. Um, and as we'll see, Whippo. Yeah, Whippo's going in for a 1v2 here. Inspired's got to be careful. The Nami wave gets fired off. Whippo's in the middle of everybody. He's going to start things off with an ulti. Looking to lock down Impact. Masu and Inspire putting some damage on the Yon. Yon tries to get away, but he's beat down by the Trundle. Whippo's still in a 1v2 situation, but he's surviving just fine for now. Flashes back over the wall. He's A-OK, -okay, but it's APA down in bot lane. He's going to keep pushing, looking for another Maybe inhibitor. Answer. As FlyQuest are down onto the Baron, Oriana's going to go back. It's Jensen who's on APA duty as the remaining four oh, FlyQuest players in a 4v3. Umpty could be the steal. This is what they're hoping for. Team Liquid's gonna need a hero moment out of their jungler. A TP coming in as Whippo and Busio want to keep the TL jungle away. Impacts into the backside of the pit, just being an absolute 6,000 HP ward to allow Umpty to make sure he knows when it's time to go in. Now the Blast Cone's gonna get set off. Whippo and Busio both still trying to keep Umpty away. Impact's still on the pit, not allowing the Baron to they're be trying set. To finish it. Umpty jumps back over the wall, the crash down comes in, a TP's coming out, Impact here in a 1v2 now leading the way. Umpty goes back over the wall. Flash ready to re-engage. Hits fire back onto the ramp of his own side of the jungle. Whippo's tanking on the front line as Umpty barely gets out. Whippo's hanging on by a thread as Inspire chases away the enemy jungler. Impact is low, but Core JJ's lower. Inspire gets the kill on Umpty and Impact is about to fall. The health bars were dicey, but it's FlyQuest coming out on top. It's a 7-3 game and Baron is in their sights. Jensen's back in the base dealing with the minions and Yawn and Core JJ still trying to see if there's anything they might be able to do, but I don't think it's so. Baron down to 2,000 HP and claimed by FlyQuest. Time, and now we have FlyQuest on the Elder. The Elder at 6,000 HP and dropping swiftly. Umpty looking for his moment. Whippo's here in the front. He just wants to keep the enemy jungler away while the rest of the team secures the objective. Team Liquid, having seen this, has to know this fight doesn't go their way. Umpty's gonna burn, and the dragon's gonna blast them. FlyQuest keep their march going, and APA and Core JJ both gotta get the hell out of town. APA still rocket jumping his way away to safety, but it's a double super buff FlyQuest marching down the mid lane in a 5v4. Yeah, and I mean, this is where you just, you really see, as we see all of those grub... So many grubs! Yeah, was calling them the grub, the grubbies. I think they're actually called void mites. 
Um, I call them Krebs. But yeah, this is the true power of, of FlyQuest comp, right? Especially with Ocean Soul, it just takes so long at this point to get through the healing, to get through oh! the HP. And goodbye, there's the power of Karma. Right there. There's the power of Karma. There goes Yawn. There goes APA. Both marksmen out of the picture. And Impact cannot do anything alone. Core JJ going back into the fountain one way or the other. A double kill for Masu. FlyQuest make quick work of him after getting those buffs. It's going to be a 3-0. FlyQuest stops. Yeah. So it is our fault. I take the responsibility. But looking at these drafts overall, huge poke comp from IMT, actually. Yep with the flex Maokai. You can actually get pretty tanky on support Maokai. If Insanity is going to be able to pick up most of this farm. Yeah, he really doesn't want to lose out on it. You can see there's already quite a gap in those CS counts as Ole has been found out in his own jungle. Zazel and Boogie working together. Ole wanted to flash away, but he's only flashing into his own demise. But Mask is ready to follow it up, and they'll make it a one for one. Zazel trying to escape here. Pops the flash on the rel. Mask still has a flash of his own, but with low mana. In this season, it is really strong early on. Yeah. It is very, very powerful. He had that blue buff for a little bit that he picked off that kill. What made him feel good with the change to the items. But now, Shopify Rebellion on to the second set of grubs. They claim the first one. Remember, they want to get at least two to stop their opponents from spawning the grublings as the engage comes out and Immortals are ready to lock them down. Insanity hiding in the smoke, looking to get himself away. Mask down to half HP as Shopify try to turn it back. But Insanity shot in the face as he tries to do a cartwheel into the middle. Castle beats down another one off to the side. B-Boy's into the picture and Boogie's the one who's about to have his epitaph drawn. Goodbye to Shopify and Immortals are the ones to rack up three. Massive fractal. They both have their ghost plate completed. So gonna be feeling quite strong at this point in the game. And our Mayo just power farming away, takes it. The game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not technically an exploit, but You're not it's, a cheater, but I do still hate you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's like a, a guy that only bunts in baseball. It's yeah. like you're, you're not cheating, but I really just don't have any respect. <laughs> but to a wall? it might end up right next to Speaking of bad Shelly drivers, we played a game the other day. I saw you hey, get into Shelly. Let's not talk about Ole's in trouble, Isaac. <laughs> Ole's in trouble. Zazel's gonna get locked down. He tries to re-engage with the Magnet Storm into the crash down, but the only thing. Crashing is him into the dirt. Shopify trying to reinforce here. Fake got arrived with the teleport, but all he can do is say a couple nice words about his buddy Zazel. Castle takes the turret up here in the top side. Another advantage. Yeah, going on. To That's going to be his second item completed. And I feel like at this point, when you see your mid laner in that bed, Armeo. Sanity still not able to get on the board, even with an assist. Shopify only having a single kill thus far, as Ole goes for the engage. Locking down Insanity with Twisted Advance. Accelerated Shock Blast gonna find him from a distance as the curtain call opens up. Number one, number two. Number three only hits Boogie. Number four goes out and flies wide. Meanwhile, Zazel is your sacrificial lamb. And Immortals wants to feel for dinner. Gets away for a moment, but Castle's ready to eat him up. Armeo hits him with another one of the blooming blows, and Castle picks it up. Six to one game. Four and a half thousand gold Here. for Immortals. Looking to continue shoving in while, well, again, Armeo playing behind him nonstop. Always there to cover. Making sure you don't give up I that. I have my objective timer up, so I definitely misspoke earlier, but that's okay. We're not really going to worry about that. As the Herald is summoned up, they Put it on autopilot. It connects with the turret. Tier two about to fall as Immortals will not be able to stick around to guarantee it. Boogie flies in and Fake God's ready to follow up. Tactical gets dogpiled and Insanity gets his mark. Ole tries to escape, but it's already a Look two at for Mask. Make it a two for one. Mask is ready to pop off. Fake God is low and Mask is about to execute him. 3v3 left for the map as Castle is now going to get focus fired down underneath the tier two turret. The arrows fly and the Udir dies. Armeo and Mask, the last two standing. Shopify took their moment they went in and they fought behind him as well and if you're dominating vision in your enemy jungle after pushing it out then you can move over to barons and things like that but they are for now just searching hunting and zazel may be in some trouble here as Olay's gonna look yeah crash down buffers through the twisted advance yet again but now the nature's grasp is ready to fly out boogie flies in mask is the target but boogie's gonna learn his lesson real quick castle and tactical work together to take him down but now the rest have been put to sleep the blooming blows come out and another kill goes back over to Armeo. Immortals have found two, one of which is trying to push in, maybe look for a tower. I don't even think he's gonna have time to be able to get that. B-Boy trying to sneak out here, see if he can get any sort of a miracle cue. They're hanging around. They want to see if there's any kind of an angle. Maokai makes it even more difficult just being able to lay down those saplings as your opponents try to approach. Mask 
separated from the rest of the team, but confident in his ability to deal with Boogie. He forces back the Nocturne, but Insanity wants an angle. Massive Magnet Storm coming out from Zazel. It's too already dead on Immortals. What were they doing? Shopify still having all five men, but Insanity is about to drop. Armeo grabbed the kill on that one, thanks to the damage over time. Oh, the Castle's sleep. still looking for a little bit more. The sleep has landed. There's another one. Fake God's about to be number three. The curtain has been called, and Shopify is on the run. Beautiful downtown shot from Tactical. Just when it looked like Shopify might have had something, here comes the deer, and Immortals managed to get a four for two. Finish off Tactical, but he's not able to do it. Armeo arrives, gets the Q on a two, the sleep comes in, and he tells him, go to bed. Immortals, almost 7,000 gold lead, pushing down the top lane. Tier two turret should melt away pretty swiftly, given how much damage. Off, off guard. Yeah, and this is also one of the consequences of Insanity as Akali being stuck so far behind. Castle Go on hit here, but the game has just really not worked out in his favor. You know, he's constantly under threat and doesn't really find that time to get enough damage out, but it is going to be Immortals looking for the engage. Ole with a flash into the Twisted Advance, followed up in the Nature's Grab. Zazel's already almost dead, but not quite yet. Insanity into the back looking for Tactical, but he's going to be controlled. Ole drops at least. Insanity getting away for now. Armeo is low. Castle also just trying to protect these guys as the curtain call fires off. B-Boy trying to get away. The haste from the Blade of the Ruined King will not outrun a bullet. And Mask is ready to finish him off. It's Ole traded away for B-Boy. People are going to be having to start reevaluating some things about those preconceived notions about some of these players, about the preconceived notions even. No, I turn invulnerable for some BS reason ability. I just feel like it's B, even if it's good, it's more BM. <laughs> and you're just engaging in mental warfare as Zazel is going to be your target here at the start of the fight. Accelerated shot blasts in the back, ain't gonna find a whole lot as Castle is locked down. There go the stacks, there goes his homework, there goes Zazel as Boogie's gonna be your next target. Into the back goes Armeo, the Zonias you were talking about, Insanity cannot escape the triple kill back of an tactical. Make it a quadra, one, two, three, four, everybody give Jin more and more are not going to need Baron. They're not going to need any more time. They're going to march it straight on in. 21 to 9. An ace for two to end the game. It's all about just taking out the Nexus turrets. They're taking their victory lap. Tactical just flashing around because it's fun. No reason not to. Immortals will start off week two with a win and send shot. These were some of the best highlights from all of the LCS spring matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.